I'm Captain Shelley for BoatTest.com and today I'm on the all new 222 FSH Family Sport Hybrid. The new 22 foot series improves upon the previous 21 foot models by adding an additional nine inches to the length overall of the vessel. Additionally, they brought up the freeboard of the boat and has a deeper hull design, adding to the stability while out in open water. With so much versatility packed into the Yamaha FSH center consoles, the hardest decision an owner will have to make is how to spend their day on the water. The FSH is first and foremost configured with the Avid Angler in mind, but Yamaha has also designed all major areas of the boat to easily convert to family and social areas while the poles are stowed. This new 22-foot model offers the same premium fishing-focused features as the 25-foot FSH series, but in a mid-size package. A jet-powered center console is not a common combination, but Yamaha has successfully equipped this boat for a variety of activities, all with an emphasis on safety for the whole family, as exhibited by the 31-inch deep cockpit and propless jet propulsion. Let's take a look at all these features, starting with the bow. The bow on this boat has been designed to perform multiple functions. With the platform placed in the lower position, this area becomes a wide casting platform and there are several cup holders that can accommodate fishing rods set into the gunnels. Remove the center platform and add seat cushions and now the bow area has comfortable seating for four sitting upright or two people in the forward facing lounge positions. There's a table mount at the bow and a place for everyone's beverages. Stainless steel grab handles are to port and starboard. The anchor hatch is topped with marine mat to make bow boarding safer. Below, a large locker has dedicated clips for a lightweight Danforth style anchor and has a notch for the anchor line so it can be closed while the anchor is deployed. A pop-up cleat is placed just forward of the hatch on the center line. There is storage under both port and starboard seats, one of which is insulated and can function as a cooler or a fish box. A hatch in the floor at the bow reveals a finished molded in storage compartment with a dedicated spot for a five gallon bucket. The underside of all hatches are nicely finished. Aft of the forward seating are two large storage spaces behind double doors. There is a welcome trash bin mounted on the inside of the door on port and shelves to starboard. There's a forward facing seat in front of the center console to add additional space to this social zone. The forward facing seat lifts to reveal a changing room or optional head. We've got a wide variety of features here. All of your important information is right at your fingertips. In the center, you have a phone mount with inductive charging. And on the starboard side, we have our Simrad display with our fish finder depth finder. New to the 222 series is the Hertz audio center. All of your accessory switches are right here at your fingertips and they light up when they're engaged. Dual fly-by-wire throttles are within easy reach. Stainless steel steering wheel on a tilt base with an integrated steering wheel knob. Dual cup holders for captain and mate. Decking up here as well as below to hold any of your things that might be rolling around. Open and protected storage underneath the helm. And an angled footrest. The 222 series comes with a standard hard T-top that integrates really well into this beefy center console. Full acrylic windshield is mounted within powder-coated aluminum supports, and the grab handles on both sides of the helm add additional safety. The slightly swept back tower gives this boat an uncompromising look. The tower is sturdy, and I like that the supports are more squared than rounded. The appearance is instantly more modern. They've designed the aft portion of the hardtop to be a little higher to make entry easier for our taller friends. And the integrated speakers within the T-top are aft facing. All FSH models come with aft facing rocket launcher style rod holders and vertical rod storage along both sides of the console. There are cutouts in the top to allow for longer rods and they've even added padding around the cutout to protect them when running. Mounted on the aft casting deck is a double wide leaning post with dedicated cooler storage underneath. This leaning post serves double duty, 
With the backrest aft, it's seating for operating the boat. With it forward, the leaning post becomes a comfortable place to watch the baits while trolling, or a perch to watch the kids while they're swimming off the stern. To both port and starboard are gunnel rod racks. A nice touch is the padding to protect your reels. These racks are capable of holding four rods instead of the three position racks that we typically see on most center consoles. The reason for this is the higher freeboard that is an integral part of the new 22 foot series. With this deeper cockpit, moving around the boat, even when underway, felt secure. The marine mat provides a comfortable walking surface and I like that the mat is removable in some places for easy cleaning. The Jet Wash raw water washdown system at the stern is a welcome convenience, and right above is an aerated 26 gallon live well. Note that the well is set high to allow easy access from the aft casting deck. There are two jump seats on either side of the leaning post, and when they are folded down, anglers will have a casting space unobstructed by outboard motors. Four more rod holders in the gunnels, as well as four cup rod holder combos, provide a variety of stern fishing setups. Yamaha's signature stern lounge is one of my favorite areas. It's a family-friendly spot that provides easy access to and from the water. There's a receptacle to set up a table or a grill, and the 222 FSH Sport E comes with a stern stereo remote. There is a slide-out three-step boarding ladder housed in the transom on the center line. Note the two handholds on the transom to aid climbing back aboard. One of the main selling points of a jet-powered family sport hybrid is the elimination of spinning props when swimmers are in the water, giving the operator peace of mind. The ability to go into extreme shallows because the drive system is virtually flush with the bottom of the boat is also a big plus. The downside is that the water pumps are susceptible to sucking up grass and lines that can gum up the impellers. Like all Yamaha jet boats, the FSH features a hatch in the stern patio, revealing access to the jet drive's cleanout ports. These ports allow for the removal of debris from the jet pump without having to get into the water or swim under the boat. A safety switch is automatically activated when the hatch is raised. This compartment can also function as wet storage. The 222 FSH boats are powered by the company's twin four-cylinder, four-stroke, 1.8-liter high-output Yamaha marine engines. Filters and dipsticks are easy to reach, and although it is a cramped space, there is still room to reach the through-hole fittings and other components mounted below or to the sides of the engines. Our 222 FSH Sport E test boat had a length overall of 22 feet, a beam of 8 feet 6 inches, and a draft of 19 inches. Our tested weight with 38% fuel on board and three people was 4,802 pounds. Be sure to attach your kill switch lanyard. Here, whole shot time was lightning fast and we hit 30 miles per hour in five seconds flat. We reached a top speed of 47 miles per hour at 7,400 RPM. Best cruise was recorded at 6,500 RPM where we were going 34.9 miles per hour and got 2.2 miles per gallon for a range of 140 statute miles all while holding back a 10% reserve of the boat's 75 gallon fuel capacity. Keep in mind that these numbers were taken in some slight chop and on a hot and muggy afternoon in Florida when performance would be at its poorest for most boats. The articulating keel, now found in all Yamaha jet boats, adds stability when crossing wakes and waves. This results in a more planted feeling and reduces the tendency to slide around while turning the operator will be able to maneuver this boat in some of the tightest spaces, especially with its independent twin engines. This family sport hybrid truly lives up to the name. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Shelley, and this has been my full features and performance inspection.